So Texas Rep Chip Roy files resolution urging Vice President Harris to remove Biden from office. Rep Chip Roy introduced the resolution aimed at invoking the 25th Amendment to remove Biden from office following the widely criticized performance at last week's presidential debate. According to Roy's statement and the text of the resolution, the move would require Kamala Harris and the cabinet to formally declare Biden incapable of performing his duties. Despite these calls, Harris has publicly dismissed concerns about Biden's debate performance. She actually said he came out weak, but he ended really strong and he did so well. And the only reason things went south is because Trump is such a liar. They, they don't even understand how confused or deluded and mentally unbalanced they all are. And for that matter, would you really want Kamala Harris temporarily even running things at the White House while Biden is removed forcibly? I don't think they'd do it that way. I think if they had to get rid of Biden, they'd do it in a really nicer way and say he's decided to feel someone else or he's giving someone else a chance. They'll do something nice, nice to let him go out to his old age home where he can be cared for properly. But again, are we even going to make it to that election? And the elections we are already seeing around the world are chaos and big changes happening all at the same time in preparation for seemingly the final week of mankind. But it's interesting and there's a lot of upheaval, there's a lot of fear and a lot of chaos just after round one. Can you imagine what it's going to look like if this gets to debate number two? So again, causing a lot of confusion and chaos in America at the moment and for the most part, People need to focus more on faith, on God, on getting right with Jesus Christ and seeing what's actually happening for what it is. Control on both sides, everywhere in the world as everything is prepared for that final week. Keep looking up, keep spreading the gospel and keep working on your relationship with Jesus Christ. Shalom.